In this video, we are going to see if I can beat my personal record for a high score during a Wordscapes tournament weekend. My previous high score during a weekend was about 14,000 star points. You can see that I started the play around 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, about one hour after the weekend tournament started. By 8 o'clock, I had about 1,800 points. Around 9.30, I had about 3,000 points, so I was off to a pretty good start. I was feeling good that weekend and not particularly tired so I just kept playing most of the night. By the time I stopped playing for the first night, it was around 12.30 a.m. I probably spent about four hours playing on Friday night into early Saturday morning and ended up with around 5,000 points that night. At the end of the video, I have a breakdown of the hours spent in Wordscapes each day of the weekend. On a normal weekend, this is probably my average total score for the entire weekend, about 5,000 points. But there was something about this weekend that was special. We all needed to relax after the holidays and so we had no plans and I had no work to think about. I woke up early on Saturday morning, which definitely helped too. By 10 o'clock a.m., I was already up to 8,000 points. I think I started playing around 7 or 8 o'clock. Somehow, I didn't stop playing, and by the time 1.30 Saturday afternoon came around my score was above 11,000 points. I think it helped that I didn't have a lot of competition. If I feel like I need to score a lot of points, it is usually more difficult to keep playing. I just don't like the feeling that I have to do something. This was just a personal challenge for myself to see if I could best my top score. I must have taken a break for a while, probably to get some exercise, because I only had just over 13,000 points by 5 o'clock Saturday evening. I kept slowly plugging away Saturday night until around 11.30. I was running out of steam and not motivated enough to push hard that night, but I slowly got up to over 15,000 points. I had already broken my personal record. At that point, my teammates were pushing me to keep going on Sunday, and I was also interested to see how high of a score I could get. Just to be clear, there are two different types of points you earn during a tournament. There are star points that include the star rush extra points that you get. These are the points that people that you are playing against can see. Then there are your normal points that only you and your teammates can see. These do not include star rush points so usually this number is less than the number your competitors can see. All the points that I am discussing here are my Star Rush points. Something woke me up early on Sunday morning, and I played for a while and went back to sleep. But I made a pretty big push on Sunday morning, and ended up getting to about 19,000 points just after lunch on Sunday. I had made up my mind that I wanted to try to get over 20,000 for the weekend, and I could do that pretty easily and wouldn't have to try too hard over the next few hours before the tournament ended. I had noticed that my non-star points that my teammates could see was pretty close to 16,000 points, and I figured that would be a good target to aim for. That would put me over the 20,000 star points, so that is what I did. I figured out which animals would give me just the right number of stars so that I would hit exactly 16,000 points, and that gave me 20,511 star points that you can see tallying. Okay, here we are just taking a look at my playing so you are not just looking at basically screenshots of the scores for the entire video. But really, that is the main function of this video, to show you the breakdown and timing of the scores. You know, basically, when I was playing, and for how long and how many points I was scoring during that time period. I was wondering what my competition must have been thinking I was doing on this weekend, because they were not trying very hard and I just kept scoring and scoring. They probably just thought my team was in a big competition. My team actually ran into another high-scoring team this weekend, and we did not win. So all my hard work, and we still came up short in the tournament. Oh well, that is life for you. I have to be honest. I hope I never score that many points again during a weekend. I really felt like I was just playing Wordscapes the entire weekend. It was fun to push myself to see how far I could go but I would rather be spending a lot more time doing other things. This particular weekend just worked out because I had spent a lot of time with all my family, and we were just ready for a break from everything. It all just kind of worked out. So here is the part I am kind of embarrassed about, the time breakdown. It is a lot of time. Friday, you can see according to my phone screen time, I spent 6 hours and 12 minutes on my phone that day. If I look specifically at the Wordscapes application, I allegedly spent 5 hours and 30 minutes playing Wordscape. Don't worry. Saturday's numbers are even worse. Again, according to the screen time application on my phone, I spent 10 hours and 23 minutes on my phone that Saturday. But only 9 hours and 55 minutes of that time 
was specifically spent in the Wordscapes app. I am not sure how to feel about this. It honestly didn't feel like that at the time, but the numbers don't lie. Sunday was basically the same as Friday as far as the numbers go. I spent 6 hours and 18 minutes total on my phone that day and 5 and a half hours just in the Wordscapes app alone, so it's pretty easy math. I spent about 20 hours on Wordscapes this weekend in order to set a record for myself that I hope I never break, but at least I have it recorded here for posterity. The numbers make sense. I usually score about 1,000 points per hour, so 20 hours equals 20,000 points. Anyways, I hope you learned something, or were at least shocked or entertained. Wishing you lots of crowns and rockets this week. Good luck.